Joining us now to review some of the headlines of today's newspapers from around the world is Arise News Analyst Emmanuel Ifini, the great Malabite, Rupert. and the high chief in waiting. <laughs> I will not announce the title yet. <laughs> no. You know, I won't well, even. Well, I, I won't even accept the chieftaincy title anywhere, anywhere. No, I didn't say chief. I said high chief. No, whatever it is, whether it is high <laughs> or low chief. Whether in my hometown, in any of the kingdoms where I come from, you know I come from many kingdoms, yeah. or even where I reside, I would accept. Some places where you have become entrenched. <laughs> I would accept a chieftaincy title. Simply, Mister. Uh, of officially. Yes. Let me be the first to call. No, you. now let's Olorogu. let's start the review. Olorogu. With this day, Nigeria's newspaper of record, the lead story: Rivers APC to APC governors. Visiting Wiki and embarrassment to our party. Threatens to take matters into its own hands if national leadership fails to do something. Of course, that story is also being reported by the Vanguard newspaper. Anger wells up in APC over party leaders win Wiki. Rivers APC vows to support Asiwaju vows not to support Asiwaju if demands 25% reform of forms proceeds, accuses Buhari of neglecting Rivers APC. They are honest. Issues will be addressed. Giandom grumblings over APC's dormant neck. Campaign Council meets today as Tinimbu returns this week. Yes, um, I think as the, the, we'll go back to the this day, uh, newspaper clearly is an embarrassment when you see governors of the APC coming to town not to solidarize with the candidates or the party in River State, but to hobnob with Nyenson Wiki, the disgruntled uh, PDP member. So what are they trying to gain? Is it that they don't even believe that APC can scratch the surface in River State. So why not Wu uh, Wike, perhaps if we can work with the presidential candidate of APC, and he can have his way with his PDP because he has vowed that of course, his candidate will win all the seats in River State. Now, you will also ask, where is Rotimi, Chibwike, Amichi? After that, uh, after he lost uh, gallantly at the APC convention to Asiwaji Bola I think he came second. He has been quiet. He has been non committal So if he's not showing zest and enthusiasm in the candidacy of the party, now do you expect Bola Metinubu and of course, his group to be also enthusiastic about what happens to APC in River State. Or is it a case that they have given up that River State is a no-go area? That is Yenson Wiki's territory for good. So it's something the APC must address because, come to think of it, Tonye Cole is the candidate. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And that is a fine gentleman. Uh, one will expect that someday he should be ruling one of the states, the state rivers from a very solid background, son of uh, Dr. Patrick Delico, a uh, man who, intellectual who graced the newsroom and the tour board of The Guardian for many years, former ambassador to Brazil. And uh, his son, Toyeko, has done great things in the private sector, one of the biggest investors in oil and gas and power. You expect that such a man should be attracted, uh, should be attractive to the rivers people to be their governor. But, Politics is a different ball game. Some, sometimes the rabble rousers carry the day. But again, so much for Tonya Cole, who by every means is a very solid candidate. But look at what his party is doing to him. They don't even touch base with their candidate in the states. They just go straight to Yinso Wiki. But we'll see how all that will pan out. Perhaps Yinso Wiki will make good his promise to walk help Atiku lose the election, to use his words, and work with Asiwaji Bola Tinumbu, and they wouldn't mind, or perhaps they don't even stand a chance of winning the governorship 
announced of assembly election in River State, if that is what is playing out. But I'm sure it's something the National Secretariat of the APC will want to address. Now, the Guardian newspaper, PDP may cede Senate presidency to Southwest, SGF, Secretary of the Government of the Federation, to Southeast. It's articles torn. Yoruba should not be selfish, says Adebutu. Yes, according to him, article local. <laughs> I don't know why that will resonate well in many quarters in the Southwest, but it's making a point. PDP rally support for Tiku blast Tinubu over fitness video. Tinubu not on medical trip. APC shifting. President, APC shifting. APC not East content with vice presidency. Can't produce next president. Kwan Kwan So contesting to win, not stepping down for any candidate. NNPP insists ex PDP BOT chair urges party leaders, stakeholders to unite in rescue Nigeria from APC misrule. Yes, but I will also just go back to the Vanguard newspaper. There's a story we have to just see that the Vanguard newspaper, below the photograph, list of national honors nominees, fake federal government. And uh, according to that story in that uh, release signed by the director of press, the Federal Minister of Special Duties and Intergovernmental Affairs, Julie Jacobs, she's saying that uh, the attention of the Federal Ministry of Special Duties and Inter Inter Intergovernmental Affairs has been drawn to a purported list of nominees for national honors being circulated by some online media organization. While it is true that the president, Muhammad Buhari, GCFRO, will be conferring national honors on deserving Nigerians and friends of Nigeria on 11th October 2022, the authentic list of nominees is yet to be released to the public. Ruben, we analyzed that list very well yesterday, but they are saying, well, that is not our list yet. Perhaps some of those hard-hitting critic, criticism from uh, the likes of Ruben uh, has brought about a rethink. I wouldn't be surprised if we see some amendments that reflect some of the criticisms already put forward on that list, which the government is saying is fake. Now, the Punch newspaper, PDP crisis, BOT convinced emergency meeting to rescue Atiku's campaign. Party board meets this week as pressure mounts on PDP chairman to throw in the tower. We can't go into politics divided. We'll make needed sacrifice to move forward. BOT member Wabara led reconciliation panel meets Atiku ahead of Tuesday Port Harcourt meeting with Wiki. So some movements within the PDP to resolve the crisis, but we'll that be enough to pluck it. Wiki and, of course, his friends, they call them the G5, the go five governors, somebody called them the Fantastic Five. I don't see what's fantastic about them, but they are now a power block within the PDP, no doubt about that. And you ignore them at your own peril if you are the presidential candidate of the PDP. Now, the nation newspaper presidency, why Tinubu is best for the job by R. Makura, R. Makura, former governor of Nasrallah State, as governor says, Atiku Obi Kwankwanso, no match to APC's, APC candidates' competence. Yes, now, the New Telegraph newspaper, South 2023 presidency, Southwest at Crossroads over Tinubu Obi, Afeni Ferrer, AROG stick to their guns. Yoruba Council of Elders says restructuring will inform position. Now, the Daily Trust newspaper, litigations, dog primaries, as INEC releases final list today, APC battles lawsuits in Abia, Adamawa, Kaduna, Plateau, others, PDP faces use in Abia, Delta, Ogun, Kanu, Niger, others. Nigeria's democracy in court is court dependent, according to Dr. Kari. Now, the Business Day newspaper, Nigeria's 2023 borrowing plans at risk as creditors dry up, Eurobond route resumes. 
Rising interest rates to push up domestic borrowing. Yes, Nigeria faces an uphill task finding creditors to plug an 11 trillion hole in the proposed 2023 budget amid foreign investor apathy for the Nigeria's debt instruments and rising domestic interest rates. Yes, Ruben, they say he who goes a borrowing goes a sorrow. sorrow. sorrow you know. So you can borrow, borrow, and borrow at one at one point. You will be looking for creditors. You won't get somebody to borrow. Mm -hmm. I hope that's not the situation with Nigeria now. But the Business Day newspaper is saying that seemed to be the situation. No, but, but we knew that this was going to be the situation now. Just imagine the, your cost of your, your, your euro bonds if you want to go get bonds now from anybody. Just imagine other countries that don't borrow as recklessly as we borrow, we know how much they will get the same loan. We know how much they will give us that same loan. That's why we kept on saying it, that this government should do what is right. You came in with a debt burden of, in the past, um, of about 10 trillion. Now you've increased it to over 40 trillion. And it keeps going. You blame COVID-19, you blame every affairs, you blame, oh, crude oil price, not over $100 per barrel. Now it's been over 100 since January. What have you done? Because you don't have the infrastructure to make more. And you see, the country has a lot of potential, but it keeps losing money. So you keep on borrowing. You are borrowing to pay subsidy. Just, just imagine that level of thinking. Japanese man will say, you're a you're a guy. Good thinking, good product. We are not thinking good in this country. And it's obvious. So when you see problems on ground, obviously it's the quality of thought process. If a child fails in class, if he gets F9, it's a thought process that made the child get F9. If a child gets A1, it's a thought process. The difference between a first class and a third class is the thought process, the thinking process. So, are you surprised? Well, but we are, we are, <laughs> we are servicing our debts, even if it means servicing with more than we earn. Ah, okay. Robert. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Look, uh, if any, I don't want to waste saliva on uh, debt sustainability and big problems. Are you saying it's a bad case? About, about <laughs> borrowing. <laughs> I mean, those who know better, the economists, yeah. they said, look, even when we borrow this money, we use it to fund uh, inefficiency, yes. leakages, wastages, and that whoever is going to be uh, president of Nigeria and this, this is one of the things that we need to rethink because we can't sustain. All those arguments about our problem is revenue, it's not dead. It's a dead to a GDP ratio. Even the people pushing the argument have gone to the National Assembly to wring their hands in utter frustration to say that uh, the arguments cannot stand. Yes, no. So business day focusing on it is perfectly in order to do so. However, I want to draw attention to a number of things. The first story you started from, uh, the uh, reverse APC. APC, yeah. Saying APC governors uh, should not come to uh, uh, River but, State to come and meet with uh, uh, some Wiki. In fact, the man who first made that statement in that story, I think I read it, is uh, somebody from Obio Apo, yes. uh, local government area, who is uh, from Yeson Wiki. Uh, from Yeson Wiki, from, from local state. government. Yes. Okay, <laughs> so it sounded like a threat from what he was saying. He said, you know, he was warning the. Uh, national body of the party to tell all these APC governors from Southwest, you know, he didn't mention names, but he said they should stop coming to come and pay homage to Wiki, whether they are looking for solidarity or not. Okay, what exactly can they do? Wiki is a sitting governor. There is a freedom of a association. No, but can't miss the point they are making. No, no, I, I will come to that. A freedom of association. You know, people can meet. People are free to meet. But if they think that it is, it amounts to anti-party activity, I think that which was something that is suggested. Yes. No, let me finish. I know in the past somebody had to lose his position in government because he went to a state and he didn't pay homage to the right parties. It was my assignment to issue the statement saying, you know, the government had turned him uh, adrift. So I know politicians can be very sensitive about who you associate with. But that can be dealt with at the party level. What we're saying is that nobody should take the laws into their hands. I hope that the kind of threat that has been issued, the plan is not to say that if an APC governor comes and they visit uh, uh, Wiki, uh, they will be attacked or something will happen. No, that will be unacceptable. If they have issues within the party, let them resolve it. 
using processes within the party. But they also have another issue. In River State uh, APC, the chairman of the party is saying that the party generated over one billion naira from the sale of funds, and that the uh, federal unit of the party has not uh, given them their twenty-five percent. So when you connect all of these issues, you know it's just important for political parties, be it the APC or whichever party, to resolve their internal issues. The second point that I want to raise is that today. The uh, matter of ASU and the federal government, we're told, is going to come up at the Court of Appeal. Okay? Today, also, the uh, Femi Bajabiamila led uh, committee of the House of Representatives is meeting with uh, President uh, Muhammad Buhari to find a solution to the problem. I think there is a meeting of minds, a consensus addendum that, look, the universities remaining closed for more than eight months is a problem. And we hope that you know a solution will be found uh, to the problem. Thank you very much, Amanda.